I'm Megan. I'm Brooke. And we're Hot Discoveries. <laughs> Today we're here in Jerome, Arizona. So we thought that it would be really fun just in time for the spooky season to come check out the haunted hamburger. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and of course talk about the history of the food, talk to some employees, see if they've had any strange encounters. Maybe we'll have our own encounters. Who, Who knows? knows? <laughs> Maybe the hamburgers will actually be haunted. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> So Jerome is an old mining town that was actually founded in the late 19th century. It sits on the side of a mountain that overlooks Verde Valley, and it's actually a super easy day trip. It's only about 100 miles north of Phoenix. We headed up to the Haunted Hamburger because we absolutely love the fact that they embrace the spooky side of things as well as serve up very tasty food. So speaking on the spooky side of things, um, this actually used to be a boarding house for the old miners that used to live in the city. During the renovations for the restaurant, the owner himself actually would find tools going missing like a bunch of hammers. And then they would just show up randomly throughout the entire renovation. And so they actually have that now hung up on the wall. The hammers aren't the only spooky story we have for you. We have a couple more to tell you, but first let's check out the food. So, I got the Oreo milkshake, and they're also known for having some of the best milkshakes. And I will honestly say, this is one of the best milkshakes I've ever had. It's bomb. <laughs> Okay, so I have the haunted hamburger right here. It has grilled mushrooms, grilled onions, green chili, of course some bacon, and a heaping top of haunted guacamole. Let's try it out. All right, yeah, this burger is amazing. You definitely have to try it. <laughs> That highlight though. It's really good. They also have this really cool topping area with pretty much everything that you could need. If you're anyone like me, the tomatoes and the pickles are delicious. I'm just letting you know. Um, they also have a bunch of desserts, delicious desserts. You can actually buy the cakes as well. Um, and the menu is also super diverse, so there's something for everybody. The restaurant is decorated to perfection. We love the decor there. There's so many different little things you can check out. And be sure to look up so you don't miss this bookshelf in the ceiling. How cool is that? There's also a merch area if you're ever interested in buying their merch. It is super awesome. One other thing we absolutely loved is the fact that there is a beautiful view pretty much from anywhere in the restaurant the view is fantastic this is actually the hundred mile view you can see the mountains it's honestly just refreshing to see such beautiful scenery so I got the amazing opportunity to sit down with Sean Reller, who was the general manager at Haunted Hamburger. He's been working there for over 10 years, and he loves working there. He loves the vibes of the people and just the atmosphere. I was able to ask him a bunch of questions, um, and of course, I had to ask him if there was any spooky events that had happened, and this is what he said. Craziest one? It was not long after I first started. I was locking up the front door over here, and my alarm not set because it said upstairs motion, upstairs motion. And so I got up, checked everything, I had to call the alarm company to get an override. He told me, just go upstairs one more time, check this for me on the door, and uh, if not, then I'll give you the code. So as I'm walking up the stairs, it's pitch black except for the emergency light above the door. Something went by that just completely blacked it out. The room was completely dark. That's so crazy. <laughs> so I was like, all right, no, everything's good. I ran down the stairs and the front door and like got the code and left. So got the, I got a dodge. Yeah. <laughs> so you might be wondering what other odd occurrences have frightened staff, owners, and guests alike in the haunted hamburger. Cans flying off shelves, the hot water being turned on in the middle of the night, distinct smells in the air well, and even photographs guests have taken capturing the vague image of a woman. So is the haunted hamburger truly haunted? The only thing we experienced was amazing food and great vibes, but you definitely need to come hang out and see for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much Haunted Hamburger for having us. It was a blast, amazing food, awesome history, just really good times. So if you're in Jerome, make sure you go to Haunted Hamburger. Yeah. You gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> Comment down below if you've ever been here. You should definitely come check it out. If you haven't, give us some other places to go check out as well. And make sure to like this video, subscribe, until, until next time. time.